Hey guys, how is everyone doing this early afternoon on a Sunday the 22nd? Disclaimer, no investment advice provided. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Swayze's here. Hope everyone is well. I'm making like a little quick series on the pharma stocks uh, for your viewing pleasure. All right. And uh, what we'll look at in this one, guys, is we'll, we'll take a look at N4P. N4 Pharma PLC, or the ticker is N4P, all right. And uh, TradingView is saying it's a buy, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually agree with uh, TradingView for once. <laughs> Not that I'm knocking their, uh, their uh, little, uh, little what, what's it called, that little thing, that little uh, gauge. Sell, strong sell, sell, neutral, buy, strong buy. That little uh, clock thing or whatever it's called. Oh, I can't even speak properly today. Anyway, uh, right guys, so as you know, uh, I've made a few uh, videos uh, recently on N4P and I've been posting charts in N4P on uh, the Twitter account for quite a while now, calling out quite a few of the moves. What we're looking at here is the daily chart, right? So all stock moves in patterns and uh, the system of technical analysis that I use and I have developed uh, kind of of reveals the moves of the market makers right so we've got the we've got the daily chart so what we've got is like a larger uptrend in my opinion right uh, so like a local type well I say local uh, it kind of like started making this trend line April 2019 so a while back okay and price is moving in channels and triangles and consolidation zones and all sorts of different geometric configurations so if we just like zoom in to the local action on the daily chart more local action of what's going on we can see we had a great big spike up with a stop hunt to the high price retrace consolidated and then boom took out all the buyers we even had a price gap as well as we can see at this level here price gapped and then retraced in a short squeeze. Now, what we've got going on here, by the looks of it, is we've got a couple of things going on. Price has found support at these levels, as we can see, right? So every time that price has interacted with this lower trend line, it's reversed from the sell-off and it's come back, right? But Price doesn't move up and down. Price does not move in linear fashion. Price moves like water. It moves within patterns. So what we've got by the looks of it, we've got like a lot, slightly uh, larger area. It's a ranging market state, which is an area of consolidation. Slightly larger area of consolidation. And within N4P, right, guys, what we've got by the looks of it is we've got a triangle configuration as well. So as we can see, as price progresses and trades on the daily we can see it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter it looks to me that price is being funneled and the pressures between buying and selling is funneling it into the apex of this triangle if that's the correct word apex so if we screw down to the four hour chart let's let's have a quick look all right there's always a disparity in the four hour between the daily and the uh and the four hour but but for illustration purposes, consolidation, right? Triangle, right? I think, I don't think that this stock, looking at the charts, is quite done cooking yet. There's still a bit of cooking to do, right? And I think it might be done cooking maybe mid-December, not financial advice. It might break out before that, right? This is just my opinion. This is my personal opinion. It's not financial advice. It's for education and entertainment purposes only. Overall, I'm pretty sure that N4P, in my opinion, is bullish. Okay, but price has to do what it has to do. The market makers move the markets. The markets are a machine, right? They have set patterns for specific reasons. Without going into all that now, we would be here for hours talking about it. This is just a quick breakdown on how I see this moving in the short to medium term. 
I think it's not quite, I don't think it's done quite done cooking. I think we're going to see price uh, moving around uh, in a tighter and tighter bandwidth until it's got enough momentum to break out. Many times with triangles, they'll break out to the law and then they'll come back in bullish. Okay, market structure in the medium term with M4P. I mean, you know, medium to longer term, it's it's 16p plus uh, according to this channel and according to my technical analysis okay guys i just wanted to make a brief one today on m4p i like the way it moves um and i like what i'm seeing but i think we've got a little bit longer to cook but there's definitely some support at these levels here in the macro hope everyone's having a smashing weekend i appreciate all the follows uh, on my Twitter and on YouTube and thanks for all the kind comments. I really appreciate it I'll stick this on YouTube and I'll bet it in Twitter and uh, Yeah, have a great day guys, and I'll see you knocking around